Let's meet one of the guys that really enhances the game day experience here at highpoint.com stadium and it's one of the real great traditions that of course you see not only in all of college sports but of course uh, here in in jersey in particular he is the director of the athletic bands and the associate director of university bands and it wouldn't be the same without great music of course and uh, a couple minutes here if we could spend with todd nichols todd good morning great to see you thanks for giving me a couple minutes here good morning thank you it's my pleasure to be here with you give me a feel for what it's like uh, for you and for your musicians uh, on game day walk me through the rituals as to how you get ready for a game here absolutely game day is what we leave up to every week uh, it's a full day for our students they're here about 12 14 hours so on a day like today they're up at five o'clock in the morning they catch a bus to come over and uh, rehearse before it's time for our performance and we have a lot of events we do leading up to the actual game our drum line performs for the march into the uh, stadium then we do a scarlet walk performance with our entire marching band come on over do the block R party then we have a little time for them to eat and change and then the whole rest of the day starts with our march into the stadium, pregame performance, playing in the game, halftime, and then post games. So it's a long day for these guys. It really is. And you think about, of course, the players and the week of preparation that goes into them. Uh, for you, it's a week-long thing, and it probably goes beyond uh, just a week at a time. But do, do you sort of have like a theme, or is there a sort of uh, do you mix up the music that you do each week here? We do. From week to week, we have a different halftime show that typically is in line with whatever the promotion is of the day or fits in with what we're doing. This year, uh, today, we're doing a Michael Jackson show. Mm. Uh, so it's all music of the Jackson 5, Michael Jackson Across the year, we did a 80s, 90s show. We'll do a patriotic show next uh, home game we have to honor our veterans. Uh, so it does mix up from week to week. Very nice. So the, the proximity to Halloween and then the thriller thing, yeah. does that play a role <laughs> into <laughs> today's a decision? A little bit. You might see a little bit. <laughs> All right, real good. So, uh, and this is, of course, and not only does it take a tremendous amount of, of time and dedication from the musicians and the players who are here, this is a family thing. Parents really get involved, and parents are a big reason for the success about that. Talk about the role that that family and support plays in pulling this off every week. Yeah, no doubt about it. Just like a, an athletic team, we count on each other. Students count on each other to be there, and we're a success of our of our total, you know, of our individuals working together, and they need each other on either side. Today is an interesting day, as you mentioned, family, and the fact that it's homecoming. We have a hundred of our band alumni here with us today, celebrating the great traditions we have in the Marching Scarlet Knights, and we'll be performing together for both pregame and halftime. And you'll see, in addition to that, our members will have many of their family and friends here to support as well. Very cool. So I noticed that after you do the Scarlet Walk, which of course is one of the great traditions that you'll find anywhere, when you come over here, it's almost like a line of drums and drummers that are set up here. Uh, talk about what it takes to coordinate. I guess is syncopate the work. Uh, the yeah, word when it comes to, that's a good word. Yeah, that's a good word. If you need a guy to play a triangle once in a while, maybe I could help you we'll out with sign that. You up. But, but uh, uh, talk about what it takes to pull off something like that because it is so crisp and so clean, and it looks like years and years of work goes into uh, it. Thank but, you. Uh, talk about that. I appreciate that. What we do is we break down into smaller groups. So we have our percussion section works on their own, our color guard and our horn line separately before we come together so they spend many hours in what we call sectional training where they go off into their own individual units and really work on the fundamentals of their part of the performance then we bring them all back together and that's what you see is the final product together at halftime awesome and uh, before arriving of course uh, here at Rutgers University uh, for you Todd uh, leading uh, some musicians and some bands uh, in Jersey talk about uh, what led you here to Rutgers University oh, ab- absolutely I've been uh, New Jersey born and bred my entire life I knew I uh, something like something about yeah, you absolutely. man <laughs> Thanks. I, uh, I taught for 20 years here in the public schools of New Jersey Beautiful. and also as a performer. And I've always been drawn to Rutgers as the institution and the place to have a true university band program. And uh, was just honored to have the opportunity to be able to come here and, and teach. Wow. I mean, what's it like when someone hands you the keys to the museum? It's like, uh, hey, listen, uh, we've got a great history, a great heritage, a great tradition. Now it's your turn, kid. Go make something special out of it, right? It's it's super. It's super exciting. And it's uh, the students that we have here have an energy that is just infectious. So being able to be around that and be able to work with them and create is, is just fantastic. And then having such a large organization, it's a little overwhelming at first, but, you know, they make you feel like family. So awesome. it's honored to be here. The process by which someone has the privilege of, of playing underneath your leadership and your guidance, 
What's the level of dedication? What's the process for them? Do they audition? Uh, talk about how one gets the privilege of being here and, and playing under you every uh, every week. Well, thank you. They uh, they basically, to be in the ensemble, it's, it's a three-day commitment. They rehearse three days a week. It's actually a class, so students get credit for it. Uh, our special units, the percussion section and the color guard, do some extra sectional work on the, on the outside of our rehearsal time to refine their skills. Uh, but basically, if a student can commit to our schedule and our rehearsal uh, plan that we have, they're, they're in. You know, Very cool. The more the merrier. Our goal is to have a real large, strong performing ensemble that's here week after week to support. And I'm sure you've seen it over the years where some of the kids come and they just got it. They, they get it. They, they've got some natural gifts and some natural ability and uh, it's like they were born with the instrument in their hand. And some other kids need to kind of dedicate themselves and kind of work to it. But really, anybody that wants to be a part of this, there there is a role Absolutely. for you, right? And we, and we have a way to support both sides. We have a, an infrastructure of a student leadership team that's here to help those who maybe haven't done it that much or maybe they're coming from a situation where they need to, to grow. And we also have those who are very accomplished and fit right in. So there's a place for everyone. If someone listening now maybe wants to get their child or grandchild involved in playing in a band or playing music, do you recommend it? direction do you go trumpet saxophone drums or just whatever you feel comfortable go doing? with go with what you're most drawn to what's most uh, appealing to you give it a shot you know and if you don't like it try something else that's it that's it uh basketball season we see you guys work inside the rack in basketball yep. season too uh, a good friend of mine has a season ticket like right within earshot of when you guys are doing your thing so it's like i cover up my right ear during the timeouts because you guys are going to be rocking the house any minute but uh, talk about the excitement of uh, basketball season coming up in november that's going to be a lot yeah, of fun we too. are we are thrilled that we actually have over 120 students signed up for our basketball bands right now so we've increased substantially from last year in our enrollment and involvement so we have two working bands for all men's and women's games home games and uh again very dedicated men and women who will be there to, to support and they're going to play great we're really excited for their start to the season in just a few weeks it, it's such a great thing and you, you guys just add so much to the game day experience week Thank in you. and week out it's real it's a real pleasure and now with the homecoming here and all the grads who are coming back do you see a fair amount of, of the musicians or the people in the band that are back yeah, this weekend it's been, too it's been terrific eight o'clock this morning we had a rehearsal together and was able to reconnect with like I said, about 100 of our oh, alumni, so and cool. many of them were from the past few years, which is great to see them back. And again, some are, are coming back from classes in the in the 70s. Very cool. Todd Nichols, thank you for the time, and uh, enjoy the experience today. Is there somewhere where people can go online, maybe watch some videos, get some more yeah, information could, about what you guys yeah, are doing? Yeah, please. Please check us out on RuckersBands.com and check out our website. We'd love to hear from you. A real pleasure. Thank, thank you. you so much, man. And you, you guys do such a great job here week in and week out. And uh, we'll see you again in a couple weeks and uh, looking forward to basketball season too. So thanks for everything. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, there he goes. That's Todd Nichols, the director of athletic bands and associate director of university bands. Makes it so much fun here each and every week. Makes our job that much more enjoyable.